emergency halvaya imminent. Abandon ship. Hey there, I'm Aki and welcome back to Return of the Ancients. This is a fan-made mod slash expansion to Subnautica, which you might know as the Gargantian Leviathan mod, but it adds so much more. Today we have a bunch of news about the mod, including an Iron Cyclops, completely custom precursor bases, and more. So let's hop right into it. Now first, we have some new achievements, which I find quite interesting. The first one is Planetary Destruction Avoided. Hmm. As far as I know, there's nothing threatening the planet in Subnautica, so this is probably something to do with the new story the mod also adds. I wonder what could possibly destroy the planet, because I don't think the Gargantian Leviathan is quite big enough to destroy the entire planet. If you have any ideas on what that could be, let me know in the comments down below. Maybe it's something to do with the new technology the mod adds. Oh yeah, also, the loading screens are now based on your achievements, so you might get those standard loading screen at first, but, for example, once you scan the Gargantian Leviathan, I assume you get the Gargantian Leviathan background. Now, let's talk about modular base pieces. As you can see, you can basically play Minecraft in Subnautica now. <laughs> you have a bunch of different Precursor-themed blocks you can place down and snap to one another to create your own bases in the Precursor style. Now you have slopes, you have blocks, you have larger blocks, and you can put them anywhere you want, on the grid of course. There are still some snapping problems as you can see, but it's awesome that they are even able to do something like this, and I can't wait for this to be fleshed out more, to turn into basically our own precursor bases. What I would like though is these precursor hatches like you have on the primary containment facility, so you could place this down and if you have built an enclosed space, you would be able to go through and be on land, so breathe, so you can actually like walk around in your base and it wouldn't all be underwater. And also, of course, doorways, just for fun, because, I mean, having a doorway like this in your base would just be awesome. There's also a new module for the Cyclops called the Iron Booster, which we're going to check out in just a second, but something I forgot to mention last time, I think, is a new module for the Prawn Suit called the Iron Dash module. The Prawn Suit module basically consumes your boost bar in the bottom right, but lets you dash across in any direction you want. It is so much better to get around with, and you finally don't need a grappling hook if you want to avoid being super slow. Honestly, I might even use the prawn if it was like this, because I really hate the way it feels normally. And yes, you can also dash up a ton. You can make some real big distance with this. And also, of course, it is much easier to dock your prawn suit in the Cyclops if the Cyclops is far up. You might want to be careful to not crash into it though. <laughs> Also, if you enjoy my videos, I just released a Dead by Daylight lore video, which I put a lot of effort in, and it would mean a lot to me if you could check it out. Now, let's take a look at the Cyclops. Now, when I put this in, I didn't think much of it. I was like, yeah, sure, now we get a dash for the Cyclops or something. Yeah, no. It's a total conversion of the Cyclops to an iron submarine. Oh my god, I love this. <laughs> Just look at this, this looks so cool! I, I am in awe at how they managed to do this, it's so cool. So this setting basically overrides flank speed, so before if you went ahead with flank speed you were pretty fast but made a lot of noise as well. Uh, well with this you are insanely fast and still make a lot of noise. So what this basically is, is uh, warp speed from Star Wars. <laughs> I'm not kidding, look at this! Like, oh my god! They are doing the most insane stuff with this game. I didn't think any of this was even possible. <laughs> the one thing you may want to watch out for is uh, you should probably not run into stuff I don't think that's too good for your whole integrity. And now, let's go check out the Gargantian Leviathan updates. The odds of surviving an encounter with an Apex class Leviathan are 3720 to 1. Are you certain? You are ready to die. Uh, what? I'm pretty sure the only thing that can alter the PDA's voice so far is the Mesmer. Does the Gargantian have Mesmer powers now? I really hope not, that would make it even more terrifying. Uh, I don't know what that was about, I assume it has something to do with the story, or maybe the devs just thought, yeah, that sounds cool, let's do it. But, I don't like that. <laughs> That's terrifying. 
All right, let's go ahead and see if we can scan it and a more comprehensive measurement. <laughs> you didn't have to do it. <laughs> I love this. This is awesome. All right. So the Gargantian has a new attack. It's a shockwave attack, which looks like this. Yeah, that's what I thought too. What? <laughs> this is insane. I don't think it deals damage to the Cyclops yet. But again, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm still in creative mode, so maybe that's why. It looks amazing though. I think they used some particle from the Aurora explosion. So if it is even remotely as powerful as the Aurora explosion, yeah, you need to watch out for your Cyclops here. And while recording this, I had a very, very cool encounter with the Gargantia Leviathan. It was extremely cinematic, so I'm just not going to talk and show you what it was like. With this mod, this is actually something you can do. It's like from a movie. It was so cool. Enjoy. And yep, those were all the new updates to the Return of the Ancients mod. Let me know what you thought of them in the comments down below. We still don't have an estimated release date, sadly, but the devs have said that it should come out soon-ish. So I get from that maybe a few months and all of you should be able to experience this awesome mod for yourselves. Huge shout out to my Aki card leaders on YouTube and Patreon, Callum Wally, Capital Clive, Data, Jeff the Sea Dragon, Just Archeo, and Limeate Slosh. But for now, Thank you very much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it, and as always, I'll see you next time. Goodbye!